Amen? Uh, so far, sino ang... Hopefully, no? Pero so far, sino ang nabibless sa atin sa ating series? Amen. So, thank you so much. At ako ay nagpapasalamat muli because this is very historical for me. Kasi this is my first time to have a series. And I praise, I praise God also because um, yung message, ako mismo yung first hand na naka, nakakarinig, nakabasa, at ako mismo yung first hand na nabiglas doon sa message. And hopefully, ay every night mag-bless tayo sa mga messages na pinakita sa akin ng Panginoon. Now, um, see, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Okay, ngayon, meron tayong bagong, ano, meron akong bagong uh, ituturo sa inyo, na para talagang, kasi series to, so ayaw ko na malimutan ninyo yung title natin. Pag sinabi kong Daughters of God, sasabihin nyo, we are. Okay, tama ba? We are or are we? We are, tama, we are, yan. Yeah, tama Pero nung grabing naro, no? Okay. So, daughters of God? Yeah. Kung you are, you will say? Daughters of God. Okay? Daughters of God? Yeah. You are? Daughters of God. Amen. Okay. So, ngayon po, ang title, uh, ulit, ang title ng series natin is what again? Daughters of God. And kagabi, kagabi, pinag-aralan natin isang special na episode yung pinag-aralan natin kagabi sapagkat ang title natin kagabi is what? It is not good. At pinag-aralan natin kagabi na tayo pala, kayo bilang mga babae ay merong tinatawag na infinite value, eternal value na pinakita ng Panginoon. Saan nga? Saan nga yung pinakita ng Panginoon yung infinite value nyo bilang babae? Sa creation ni Eve. At kagabi, nalaman natin that you have, that God has three regards regarding your your value. Ano yung tatlong regards na yun? First, ano nga? Yan. I, uh, Eve is the completeness of Adam. She is the completeness of Adam. And second, she is the companion of Adam. Third, she is what? The crowning gift for Adam. At kagabi na pag-aralan natin that no one can take that value from you. Why? Because you were created with an infinite value. Amen? And this evening, very interesting. Kasi meron tayong pag-aralan na napaka-espesyal sapagkat ito ay may kinalaman sa condition natin ngayon. Tama ba? Tatanoy ko kayo, bakit kaya sa paligay ninyo, pwede pa rin ba na yung condition ni Eve before ay condition natin ngayon? What is the difference between Eve and you? You were what? Eve was what? Eve was, okay, she, she is perfect, but aside from that, hindi siya pinahanap. The fact na hindi siya pinahanap and Create siya by the head of Jesus, she is perfect. Amen? But now, because of, of their sins as well, lahat tayo yung pinanganak na makasalanan. That is very clear in Psalm 51 verse 5. But now, this evening, there's this topic that we're going to study, which is very interesting. Why? Because this topic will bring us back to who we are before. Amen? Amen? Especially to who you are as daughters of God before. But before that, let's once again plead for the mercy of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we would like to thank you and praise you for bringing us here. And thank you so much, O oh Father, for the wonderful message that we are going to hear this evening. This is not because of me. This is all because of you, O oh Lord. This is because of the Bible that speaks clearly into our hearts. I pray, O Lord, that may continually bless this dormitory. May we see your glory this evening and may we, may we see your salvation, your grace. It's all we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of our topic this evening, or before we go to that title, babalik ulit tayo sa laptop. 
natatanda niyo yung laptop, di ba sabi ko agabi, um, kuwari may Mac, tapos kuwari may nagbigay ng presyo kagabi, merong 60,000, 65,000, 70,000. Ngayon, ang tanong ko naman, sino ang, tunay, sino ang pwede lang talaga makapagbigay yung, pre, yung price o yung presyo ng laptop? Yung creator, tama? At nalaman natin kagabi na ang tali makapagbigay lang sa atin ng price ay walang iba kundi ang, ang Panginoon because He created us. At ang pwede na makapagbigay sa inyo ng price, hindi kayo pwede presyo ng kahit sinong lalaki. Okay? Sapagat ang presyo nyo ay hindi kayo ibigay ng lalaki. Amen? Amen? So ngayon, balik ko na tayo doon sa laptop, you know, sa MacBook. Let's say, yung MacBook na yan ay nasira. No, let's say siguro na, na nasira yung kanyang um, nasira yung kanyang hard drive. Tama ba yung term ko hard drive? Na nasira yung pinaka hard drive niya. Syempre yung hard drive talaga pag nasira yun, wala na talaga, no? Hindi gagana yung laptop. Ngayon ang tanong ko, sino ang um, paano niya maayos yung laptop? Yun muna yung unang tanong. Paano maayos yung yung laptop, yung MacBook? Pupunta ka sa technician, okay? manual. Okay. Pero sa tingin niyo kaya, sino kaya yung pinaka the best na makapag-aayos ng laptop? Now, this is not the question. Sino kaya ang makapag bibigay ng kaayusan sa atin? Do you believe na meron tayong tayo mismo ay nasira. Tama ba? Amen ba? Yes, because we are sinners. And that's why, kahit sabihin natin na may gawin tayong paraan para mawala yung kasalanan, may wala tayong magagawa. Bakit? Sapagat ang tanging makabib, makapagbibigay lang ng solusyon doon sa kaayusan natin ay walang iba kundi ang gumawa sa atin. And that's why, this evening, we're going to study specially Yeah. Ang title ng ating pag-aaralan ngayon is very interesting and I think this is your first time to hear this title. Let, let us read uh, everyone. The Birth of Us Hardware. Kung pwede ba nasabihin ko na, ano, na for example, yung magnanakaw, ang mabuting magnanakaw. Kung pwede ba yun? Ha? Hindi daw kasi kahit sabihin mo mabuting magnanakaw, magnanakaw pa rin, tama ba? Hindi mo pwede sabihin mabuting magnanakaw, hindi mo pwede sabihin uh, mabuting adik. You know? Kasi kahit sabihin mo mabuti yung adik, adik pa rin eh. Tama ba? How about mabuting makasalanan? Hindi pwede ba yun? Kahit sabihin natin mabuti kang makasalanan, or ako, mabuti akong makasalanan, makasalanan pa rin eh. Nandun pa rin yung word na makasalanan. And that's why this evening, this is very interesting. Kasi yung pag-aaralan natin ay hindi tayo titingin kung sino yung mabuting harlot, yung virtuous harlot, kundi titignan natin yung story behind the scarlet cord. And later on, malalaman ninyo kung, kung ano ba itong pag-aaralan natin ngayong gabi. And specifically, pag-aaralan natin ang Joshua chapter 2. Sino sa inyo ang familiar sa Joshua chapter 2? This is the story of letter R. Who is that? Rahab. Who among you here knows Rahab? Konti lang. Nako, sayang no. Sige, bago tayo mag-start, bibigyan ko kayo ng konting background. Si Rahab ay isang uh, babae, siya isang harlot. Uh, anyways, pag-aaralan na niyo mamaya. Pero para magbigyan ko lang kayo ng, ng background, si ha, si Rahab ay isang babae, of course. Siya ay isang harlot. Pag sinabing harlot, siya ay nakikipag... Uh, yung negosyo niya o yung kanyang hanap buhay ay benta yung kanyang katawan sa mga lalaki. And basically, itong si Rahab na ito ay nakilala sa Bible sapagkat siya ay ininigtas ng Panginoon mula sa distraction na nangyari sa Jericho. Naalala niyo na yung Jericho, natumba yung wall, nasira yung buong Jericho, at ang nangyari, ang nagbuhay lang doon ay walang iba kundi si Rahab. Naalala niyo yun? Okay, so that is the background. Now, this evening, Tuloy-tuloy na tayo, guys. This evening, meron tayong pag-aaralan na tatlong condition ni Rehab. Ilang condition? Tatlong condition. Now, kasabi ko kanina, kasabi ko kanina, meron laptop na sira yung hard drive at ang tanging the best na makapag-aayos nyo ay yung gumawa. Ngayon, 
merong tao, merong babae, at yung babae na yon ay nasira. At yung babae na yun na nasira, walang ibang makapag-aayos sa kanya at makapagbibigay sa kanya ng solusyon, kundi yung, kundi yung gumawa sa kanya. And this evening, para malaman natin kung paano tayo maaayos, kailangan nating malaman yung condition natin. Tama ba? Mali. For, for example, paano mo sasabihin na yung laptop, balik ko tayo sa laptop, yung laptop na alam ko illustration, balik ko tayo sa laptop. For example, yung laptop, paano mo masasabi na dapat ang kanyang aayusin ay ito? For example, aayusin yung hard drive. Bakit kung pwede masabi na yung hard drive ang aayusin? Kasi, alam mo na yun yung sira. Now, ang tanong, paano mo malalaman? For example, ako, ikaw bilang babae, paano mo malalaman kung anong dapat ayusin sa'yo? Kailangan, alam mo kung ano yung yung sira. <laughs> parang parang naman, no? And that's why this evening, pag-aaralan natin, yung condition ni Rahab. This evening, there are This evening, there are three conditions that we are going to study about the life of Rahab. First, Rahab is from where? Jericho. That's it. Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go, view the land even of what? Jericho. At sa Jericho na yon, doon nakatira si Rahab. Paano namang, ano namang sense kung doon siya nakatira? Hmm, tignan natin. Let's read Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1 to 4. It says there, When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, that is the promised land, specifically the land of Canaan, where Jericho belongs, into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Sabiniglen, and the Terebites, the Amorites, and the what? Kaanites. Where does Jericho belong? Kaanan. And the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and the Megabites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, Thou shalt smite them, thou shalt kill them, and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, kapag dumating na kayo sa land na yun, yung sisirain lahat ng yung buong land, papatayin niyo lahat ng tao doon. Grabe, no? Grabe, napaka, sa, parang, yun ba yung God is love? Papatayin yung mga tao? But later on, makikita natin that indeed God is love. Ngayon, ang sabi dyan ng Panginoon, Neither shalt thou make merry just with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Why? Because, for they will turn away thy son from what? Following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. So therefore, God wants Israelites to destroy the whole land of Canaan, especially the land of Jericho, and that's what happened in, Jer in Joshua chapter 2. But, inside that Jericho, Rahab belongs. And so, therefore, Rahab deserves what? Deserves destruction. He des she deserves to be killed. She deserves to be smitten by the Israelites. Why? Because she lives inside Jericho. Why? Because Jericho serves other gods. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, ayaw yung mahawaan yung kanyang bayan, yung kanyang bansa, ng anumang pagsamba sa ibang diyos, -Diyos. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, sumamba lang sila sa kanya na luwika sa kanila. So the first condition of Rahab, she is from Jericho. Second condition, 
She is what? A harlot. That's it. Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 in Joshua the son of Nun sent out she team two men to spy secretly saying go view the land in Jericho and they went and came into an what? Hyrule's house named who? Rahab and lodged there. Now this is very interesting mga kaibigan. Why? Kasi dito talaga ako ng club nagiging nag, nagkaka-interest. Hindi pa ninyo natanong? Hindi nyo ba matatanong? Bakit kailangan na itong dalawang espiya o dalawang tiktik, yung pinakamalalim na Tagalog, yung dalawang spy, bakit kailangan nilang pumunta pa doon sa bahay ni Rehab? Why sa bahay ni Rehab? Hindi ba marami pang ibang bahay doon? Tama ba? Bakit kailangan sa bahay ni Rehab? And specifically, si Rehab ay isang hardot. Alam niyo ba kung gaano katindi para sa mga mga Israelites ang isang hardot? ang pinaka pinagdidirihan nila, ang pinaka kinasasakamin nilang babae ay ang isang hardot. Nakuha niyo na? Yun ang pinaka ayaw nilang babae, yung hardot. Let's read Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an what? Hardot and subtle of heart. Hearken up to Sabi sa verse 24, Listen unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to, my, to, the, to the words of my mouth. Verse 25, Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Why? Go not astray in her paths. Why? Verse 26, For she hath cast down many wounded, ye many strong men. Hindi na sinabing lalaki, kundi sinabing strong men. Kahit ang pinakamalakas na lalaki ay kayong pabagsaki ng isang babae. Grabe, no? Tinigli niya, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nauna na si Glenn. Pero wala. Her house, her house is the way to what? Her house is the way to what? Hell, going down to the chambers of death. Grabe, ganun na lang katindi yung pagka-describe ni King Solomon sa isang harlot sapagkat ganun nila kinasasakiman ng isang harlot. And Rahab, Rahab is a hard man. What is the first condition of Rahab? She is from Jericho. Second, she is what? A hard man. And third, she lives where? On the wall of Jericho. Alam nyo, itong, na, itong pinaka, pinaka naamin salaga ako sa Bible. I told you last night that this book does not contain the word of God, Right? Because this is what? The very word of God. Now, if it, if it's, if it is, ko ito, tagalogin ko na kung ito, sabi ko sa inyo naman kasi foreigner kayo, di ba? Kaya, magtatagalog ako. Kung ito ang salita ng Diyos, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nandito ay significance. Amen? Now, ang sabi ng Bible, Joshua chapter 2, verse 15, Then she let them down by a cord to the window, for her house was upon the where? the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. So therefore, this must be significant. Amen? Kasi ito yung salita mismo ng Panginoon. Through Joshua. Now, this is very interesting. Why? Because in the culture of Jericho, in the culture of Jericho, yung nandoon mismo sa wall, ay kinukonsider nilang outcast ng community. At yung nasa wall na yon ang trabaho nila para siyang motel. Na lahat ng darating, kaya napansin ninyo, yung mga soldiers ng King of Jericho, ang pinuntahan agad nila ay yung bahay ni Rehab. Bakit? Kasi yung bahay ni Rehab ay isang parang motel na kung saan lahat ng pupunta na papasok ng mga visitor sa kanya unang daan. At hindi lang yung basta motel, yung bahay ni, 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 ni Rehab. Bakit? Kasi mismo doon sa loob ng motel ay ang nagmamayari ay isang hardwood. So pag bumisita ka doon, brother um, Job, alam na, di ba? <laughs> Now, 
nakuha ninyo, so yun yung pinaka-outcast. Hindi lang siya nakatira sa Jericho na pinaka-ayaw ng Israelites na land kasi mga, mga doon nagsasamba yung mga, mga Diyos, nagsasamba sa Diyos Diyosan, maliban doon siya ay isang harlot at maliban doon siya mismo na nakatira sa isang lugar na kung saan puno ng makasalanan, siya yung pinaka-makasalanan sa kanila. O halin nyo? Ganun katindi yung condition ni Rehab. Let's read. Proverbs 7.27 Her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death. Because she lives on the wall of Jericho. What are the three conditions of Rehab? This is very interesting. Despite that Rahab lives in Jericho, despite that Rahab is, an, is a harlot, and despite that Rahab lives on the wall of Jericho, still God recognize her. Why? Because the very two spies went where? In the house of Rahab. Kaya masasabi ko sa inyo ngayong gabi that God is love. Kasi alam niya na bagaman doon sa mga makasalanan nakatira doon sa Jericho, there's still this someone who can be saved and who will accept the saving grace. Now, let's study how God recognized Rahab. First, these are the three con- Three recognitions that God gave to Rahab. First, God recognized her what? Faith. Faith. How? That's it. Joshua 2 verse 9, And she said unto the man, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, alam na ni Rahab, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of, uh, because of you. And next, for we have what? Heard. For we have what? Heard. How the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. Kahit pala yung pagtawid nila doon sa Red Sea at yung pagkatuyo ng Red Sea ay nalaman at narinig ni Rehab. And what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites, whom ye utterly destroyed. And next, and as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, He is God in where? Heaven. Rehab is, lives in Jericho. Rehab is a harlot. Rehab lives on the wall of Jericho. And yet, she recognized that the God of Israel is the God who made the heavens. And that's why in Romans chapter 10 verse 7 or 11 verse 31 says, So then, what? Faith. That is Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by what? Hearing. Di ba sabi ni, ni Rehab kanina, narinig ko, I heard, we heard. And that's why, because Rehab heard that the God of Israel will destroy the land of Jericho. God recognized her faith. Why? By faith. 11.31 of Hebrews, by faith, the highlight Rahab perish not with them that believe not when she had received the spies with peace. Amen? Amen? Second, God recognized, second, God recognized her as she follows. The first F that we studied a while ago is that God recognized her what? Faith. The second F that we are going to study this uh, this moment, that God recognized her what? As she follows. How, how did that happen? Joshua 2 verse 21, And she said, According unto your word, so be it. She obeyed. And she sent them away, and they departed, and she bound the scarlet line in the window. Now, this is very interesting because James chapter 2, verse 24 says, Ye said, Ye see then, how that by what? 
works by obedience, a man is what? Justified and not by faith only. The verse does not say that the man will be justified by works. But the verse said, it is not only by faith that you can be justified. You can be accepted by to, to God or by God. But you can be accepted by Him by faith and your that faith will work out good works. And that's why verse 25 says, Likewise also was not Rahab the what? The harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. Nakuha nyo, sabi ng Panginoon, bagaman si Rahab ay isang babae na nakatira sa Jericho, na harlot, na nandun sa pinaka-outcast community ng Jericho. But then, God recognized her faith and God recognized her obedience. And third, God recognized her future. It is very interesting this evening. When God recognized your faith, when God recognized your obedience, God will also recognize your future. Let's see. The Bible says, Joshua 6, 17, And the city shall be accursed, even in, and all that are therein to the Lord, only Rahab the harlot shall live. She and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. Now, this is very interesting. Why? Matthew chapter 1, verse 5 said, And Simon begat who? Boaz of Rahab. Therefore, Boaz is the son of who? Rahab. And Boaz begat Obed of fruit, and Obed begat son. Now, the question is, who is Boaz? Who among you knows Boaz? Husband of who? Ruth. He is not only a very special person in the, in the Bible because she is the husband of Ruth, but because she is a very, very ideal man. Boaz is a very ideal man. Now the question, if he is an ideal man, who trained him to be an ideal man? Who trained him to be an ideal man? Who is her mother? Rahab. You see now? You see now? Even you, even Rahab lives in Jericho. Even Rahab is an harlot and even he is an outcast of Jericho. He still can recognize her faith, recognize her obedience and not only that because God knows that this woman is a very potential woman and later on this woman Ruth chapter 4 verse 18 says or 1 6 sige, uh, Ruth chapter 4 verse 21 to 22 and Solomon begat Boaz and Bo Boaz begat Obed and Obed begat Jesse and Jesse begat who? Amen. The very king of Israel the very king who delivered Israel from destruction. The very king that is an apple from God's side came from who? Rahab. And not only that, not only that, the book of the generation of who? Jesus Christ the son of David, the son of Abraham. And so therefore, where did Jesus come from? From Rahab? That's why I really praise God. Why? Because though and despite the fact that Rahab is a sinner like me, is a sinner like you, and despite of her conditions, that despite that she lives in Jericho, that despite that she belongs to the high lot woman, women and despite the fact that she lives in the outcast community of Jericho, God recognized her potential to become the very matrilineage of Jesus Christ. Amen? And you know what? My dear Christanti Moon Holders, what will you hear? 
minsan nas, nasabi niya, pangitaas nga lahat kung sino dito ang, ang working students. Okay, halos lahat. Amen? Actually, suppose hindi dapat ako yung working student din, but um, I don't know, pero may ibang planong Panginoon, that's why um, hindi ako naging working student. By God's grace and I really praise God. But, now, I, I would like to encourage you. Sino sa inyo ang minsan as a working student na, na naisip niya, na sabi niya, parang parang kami yung pinaka-outcast dito sa loob ng AUP. Pero ba nakapag-isip yun? Na outcast or na-discourage kayo dahil, dahil, alba yan, tagal ko mag-aral. Meron ba? Wala? Wow, praise God. Praise God if wala. But you know what? This is very interesting. Because despite of your conditions right now, God recognize your faith, your obedience, and your future. Despite, despite the fact that you will graduate, let's say, nine years, ten years, I don't know, Wag naman sana, pero kung yun talaga ang kalawag ng Panginoon, then so be it. Why? Because if we have faith, and if we have obedience, God also has a future for you. Amen? And not only that, why? This is very interesting. Let's, let's continue prior plan. God recognize our future now. Sige, tuloy lang. Ito ang tanong ko ngayon. Paano na-recognize ng Panginoon yung tatlong condition ni Rehab? Paano na-recognize ng Panginoon na siya ay may faith, siya ay obedient, siya ay may future? That's it. Now, therefore, I pray, swear unto me by the Lord, sabi ni Rehab sa mga spies, Since I have showed you kindness, that you will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token. Verse 13, And that ye will save alive my father and my mother and my brethren and my sisters and all that they have and deliver our lives from death. Now, what is the response of the two men? Behold, sabi ng dalawang spies, When we come into the land, Thou shalt bind this line. What? This what? Line. The other word for that line is cord. This cord of what? Scarlet. What is the color of scarlet? Huh? Scarlet. <laughs> Tama, scarlet. Pero saan siya pinakamalapit na kulay? Red. Very good. Tread in the window which thou didst let us down by and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household come unto thee. Balik tayo doon sa verse bago yan. Balik tayo sa verse 8. Sige pa. This is very interesting, mga kaibigan. Tanda yung word na line. Ano yung word? Line. The word is court. That is the only verse in the Bible that it was translated as court. How many times? Once. And 31 times, it was translated literally as word hope. Because the very meaning of that word is not actually a chord. That is not a line. That word means hope. And what is the color of, what is the, what is, saan yung pinakamalapit yung scarlet na kulay? Red. This is very interesting. Ang sabi ng, sabi ng, sabi ng dalawang spies, kapag kayo, pag ikaw, kinabit mo na yung scarlet chord, yung hope of Scarlet or Scarlet Hope doon sa iyong bintana lahat ng nandun sa loob ng bahay yung iyong nanay, yung iyong tatay yung iyong kapatid kapag dinestroy na yung buong Jericho kapag nandun yun sa labas lahat ng nasa loob ng iyong bahay ay hindi mamamatay Amen? Let's read Exodus chapter 12 Exodus chapter 12 Sige tuloy, Exodus chapter 12 verse 23 For the Lord will pass you to smite the Egyptians This story is no other than what we call the Passover. Okay? Yung Passover, ang kwento nito, ito yung time na kung saan 
papatayin ng Panginoon lahat ng panganay ng Egyptians. Okay? Pero, ang problema, nandun din yung panganay ng mga Israelites. Tama? So, ang sabi ng Panginoon, maglalagay kayo ng blood doon sa doorpost, sa labas. What is the color of blood? Red. Na ngayon, pag nakita yon ng Smith and Angel, lahat ng nasa loob ng bahay ay hindi mamamatay. Now, this is very interesting. Tuloy natin, uh, Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come into an, unto your houses to smite you. Why? 12 verse 27. It is the sacrifice. The Passover is the sacrifice. Of what? The Lord. Paano naligtas si Rehab? Because of that scarlet cord. And what is that scarlet cord? That is no other than Jesus Christ. You know what? My dear sisters, you have now three conditions. You have now three conditions. Your first condition, you are or you deserve destruction. Tama ba? Why? Because I am a sinner. I deserve destruction. I deserve death. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is what? Death. I deserve death. The second condition that you have right now is that you are a what? A sinner. Like Rahab, she lives inside Jericho. And Jericho deserves destruction. And you and me deserves destruction. Not only that, Rahab is a harlot. And you and I is a sinner. And not only that, Rahab lives on the wall of Jericho. And you and I lives where? In the world that is full of sin. But praise be to God, amen? Why? Because God recognized your faith. God recognized your obedience and even your future. And that's why I praise God because He brought you here in AUP, amen? na dapat nandun tayo sa labas na pwede tayong ma-influensya ng kung ano mga bagay-bagay but I really praise God because God brought you here in AUP why? because God has a better plan has a better future for you and not only that like Rahab whom God used to be the grand-grandmother of Jesus God can use you to be the grand-grandmother and even the mother of an ideal child. Of a child that God can use to save more souls. Joshua 2 verse 24 How about if we prepare your ating appeal song? I would like to end with this verse. Ang sabi ko kanina, yung laptop, pag nasira yung kanyang hard drive, hindi mo pwedeng masasabi na sira, ang ayusin ay yung hard drive kung hindi mo alam na ang sira ay hard drive. So tayo rin, hindi natin alam kung anong dapat ayusin sa atin kung hindi natin alam kung anong condition natin. Tama? And this evening, I really believe that you had heard the word of God and I believe that you now heard your conditions. Amen? And not only that, this evening, we know already who, can, who is the only one who can repair that condition. That very scarlet cord, no other than Jesus Christ. Alam niyo kung bakit si Rehab? Yung pag-spy ng Israelites, second time na itong nangyari. Pangilan? Second time. Yung first time na ginawa nila itong pag-spy, ito yung nangyari. 
pumasok sila sa Jericho, kinuman sila, at pag, pagbalik nila after 40 days, meron silang dalang mga prutas. Yung mga prutas na yon, yun yung nagsisimbolize na yung Jericho is a very valuable land that Israelites can live. Amen? And pagdating ng mga, nung 12 spies, sa first, sa first, uh, first time yung mag-spies sila, ang sabi nung, ta, nung 10, yes, ito yung mga prutas, yes, malago yung land, pero yung mga tao doon malalaki. Hindi natin sila kayang talunin. So instead na good news, naging bad news. Now, this is very interesting. Kasi yung dalawang spies sa Joshua, yung bumalik sila, may dala ba sila? May dala ba sila? Wala. So paano nila sasabihin kay Joshua sa mga tao na meron tayong valuable thing? Yes, totoo na kaya natin ni pwede tayong mamuhay doon. Tama ba? Pero alam nyo, Joshua 2.24, ito yung message na, ito yung good news nila. And they said unto Joshua, Truly the Lord had delivered into our hands all the land, for even all the inhabitants of the country do faith because of us. Ano sabi nila? Yes, totoo. Ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon yung Jericho. Bakit? Kasi totoo na yung mga tao doon takot na takot sa atin. Ang tanong kanino nila, kanino nila na religion? Let's read. 2 verse 9. And she said, Who? Rahab. Rahab said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land what? The question is, who is the most valuable thing that these two spies brought to Joshua? Who? Rahab. The very good news that they brought to Joshua. We found a woman, a sinner. A woman deserves for destruction. And a woman who lives in this world. But this is very good news because she has faith. She is obedient. And we know that the Lord has future for her. And that's why the Lord said, we will save her. You and I, is a sinner, lives on the world, and we deserve destruction. But God brought Jesus in this world and brought good news in the heaven, in, in heaven, saying to the Father, the ladies, your daughters in Chrysanthemum, they have faith, they're obedient, and they have future. Save them, my Lord. Save them, save them in fire. Despite the fact that you were created with an infinite value, and yet because of sin, that infinite value became limited, but thanks be to God, because of Jesus, He brought that once again, that infinite value through the blood, through the scarlet cord, through His Son. Amen. 